Hey everybody, it's Lisa with a couple of pickers. Rob and I are out in the wild today looking for yard sales, garage sales, anything we can come across. We had to stop this morning and get gas, but after that we're going to on our way and we'll let Gas you know. prices this morning while we're filling up. What's gas prices in your area? Can make picking expensive. Just wanted to say that uh, so far it's been a bust. We've had a rotten yard selling day. Not, well I shouldn't say rotten, but not a great day. Uh, we went through our whole town and not a single yard sale out, so we had to go to the next sign that said they were having a community-wide yard sale. Hundreds of homes. We found about four sales. Uh, one advertised as the big, huge yard sale had about two tables of stuff that was old and moldy that come out of their uh, storage shed. So not a lot to pick through but we did find some things and we'll be showing you those soon so rob and i just came across another community yard sale we stopped at the first building which was the community center where they're passing out maps donuts water and coffee and bathrooms they have this really cool map that has little stars by each place that they have a sale and over here we thought it was funny it's not to scale Hey, Rob, what does HH, turn it on the back and say what HHG means. On the back, they even have a list of what's for sale at each yard sale. What's HHG, Rob? Household goods. There, don't forget that. What was here at this one? Gardening stuff. Curing. Christmas tree. That's good for a 1988 Ford Ranger. The original Ford part. I paid a hundred dollars a piece of money in my engine. Oh, that's that. That's that dog. Is that that dog thing? Whatever. And then I could return to the special. <laughs> mm -hmm. get you, they get you however you're looking at it. Okay. Yep, they got it. much for that? Yeah. How much? Uh, was there a sticker on it? There was oh, a sticker. I didn't see it. I'm sorry. There was one on it. Oh, okay. Um, Maybe on the ball. Huh? No, it was I probably fell off. You know, it's, it's probably this pink sticker right here. 15. Okay. I'll give it to you oh, for yeah. 10. That's the best Thank I can tell. Thank you for your... Okay. Back. Rob and I made it home, and we've got our haul laid out here. We kind of divided it by what he picked and what I picked to kind of show you the difference of our styles. Um, uh, I'm going to start with my side over here. You can see towards the back, that's uh, an electric clock that hangs on the wall. 
It's vintage. It's made out of plastic, but they're still collectible, and a lot of people uh, do have them. There's quite a few still listed on eBay, but it works. I only paid a dollar for it. I've got some solo, zoom in over there, some solo cozy cups. And the package is opened, but those again are vintage and those sell, and I paid 10 cents for those. I've got a frog dish with spreader for Christmas, the Christmas frog. It's Boston Warehouse. I did pay $2 for it, which for me, that's a lot, but I do think uh, people love frogs, and he's in a Christmas hat, so I think I'm going to be able to do good on that. I found some vintage pound purry and pound puppies here. Um, they do need a good uh, bath. They're kind of dirty and dusty, but I think I'll do well on those as well, as well as this one large animal. Uh, he does have a name on it. Let me see if I can get over there and oh, thank you, Rob. Tell me what his name is. His name is Dozer. Just lean across there. And he's a pretty big guy, and I think I'll probably do well on him as well. He's very clean. I got two Wilton cake pans. These are newer ones. You can tell by the color. Uh, one's a skull for Halloween. The other one is from Frozen. Again, I paid a dollar a pan for them. But I normally pick up Wilton pans if it's got a good subject because I do well. In fact, I've sold a couple today. Over here, I've got a sloth, another beanbag sloth. You just don't see enough good sloths around. I think I paid a quarter for him. I've got a, reach over here and show you. This is a Buccaneers, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Miller Light Glass, Pint Glass. I pick those glasses up normally when I can because they sell very well for me. Again, I paid like a quarter for that. This is from Islands of Adventure. A little kids cup it does have a name on it it does say Kimberly on it but I still think that I'll do very well with that because I think I paid a dime for that one so again not very much this pig um, it's an oven mitt or you could of course use it as a puppet the lady said as she attacked Rob with it again it's only a quarter so I think I'm gonna do very well with that thank you for putting that was the next thing I was gonna do an orange slice trivet very florida so i paid a quarter for that it's acrylic I think it's acrylic thank you i think i'll do well with that as well i picked up a stack of old cookbooks and i do usually well with those i sell them anywhere from 4.99 for ones that turn out to not be uh what i thought they were all the way up to i have sold them for 20 dollars. some of these small little cookbooks like this. This is an old Sunbeam manual. This one is called Enjoying Your Cold Spot. Okay. Amish Dutch cookbook. Favorite New Orleans recipes. What's cooking in Bermuda? And this is one, a sealed one called Star Chefs on the Road. Again, I paid a quarter, 10 cents to a quarter for each one of those. So I really don't feel like I went could go wrong on those. I also got two packs of playing cards. One is John Deere. The other one is Snoopy. Again, can't go wrong with either one of those brands. People really seem to like both of those, so I think I won't have any problems selling those. And then the thing I think I'm going to do the best on was this is a set of four rabbit um, napkin rings. Very heavy. Uh, I think I saw a set online, a set of two. Somebody's asking $39 for. So I think for the set of four, I'll probably easily be able to ask $49.99 for them. And with Easter right around the corner, I think I'll get it. They're Again, they're very heavy. I paid $3, but if I can get $50, I think that's a good return. So that's what I got. And then let me just kind of give you an overshot of Rob's things. Do you want to take the camera and do it, or do you want to just do it? Just go to this one. Okay. I'm going to start. Oh, this one. This one right here is called Pocket Something. But it's a miniature Miami Dolphins helmet that's sealed. He paid a quarter for it, and he looked up, and what did you... What, About $12 shipped. 
So again, for a quarter, you can't beat it. Sealed DVD, but that they're not very good. I just picked it up because it was sealed. They're probably about seven or eight. Again, what a quarter? Yeah, quarter. You can't beat that. This software I've sold the uh, wires to before. They're they're like cables to a computer game, a flight. And but I mean, I never did look that up because I had sold the cables to it before. And uh, I mean, it only goes for about ten bucks. Again, what'd you pay for that? Probably, Probably a fifty cents. Okay. What's the hat in the back? I can't see it. Um, what did you say? U.S. Beer Drinking Team. Uh, great subject <laughs> for a quarter. That'll be great. And always one of the things we always pick up. We normally don't find a lot of them at garage sales, but they're um, electric blanket controllers. Again, depending on whether it's a single, to yeah, a single or a double. He's, he's estimating 15 to 20 Some of the higher-end brands that are doubles, we've got up to $40 for bed controls for electric blankets. So always, always a pickup. Two other little things he picked up along at the same sale that he got the helmet at. What are they're those? They're like Einstein. They're like from Excalibur. They, have, they make electronic games, and it's kind of like a, I don't know, it's like a memory game like, I guess Simon maybe. Oh, okay. So these comped at about ten bucks a piece. Uh, two of them might be about twenty shipped. And that was fifty cents. Yeah. Okay. And then you have this. Let's do this one thing right here. This, this. pumping drink. Um, it's from Aladdin. Mm-hmm. It's like maybe eighties. All right. Still, still in the, the box. box. I don't think it's ever been used. No, it looks very. It yeah. Looks clean. Yeah, Looks like it's never been used. And you paid, what, about a quarter, 50 cents for that? Uh, maybe a dollar. Same place I got the pig um, oven mitt. So, And what are comps looking at again? Uh, 25 to 30, I think. Maybe okay. ship, maybe a little more. And then this big stack of uh, VHS. Mm -hmm. Blank VHS. How many so do you have there? That's about 18 and a half, uh, more than half of them are sealed still. But oh. these are still new, but they just come out of the plastic. And what did you pay for those? One dollar. For everything? Yeah. And what do you think is a reasonable cost? Uh, maybe 30, 30 okay. ship, maybe a little more. All right. So for everything we got today, uh, just the yard sale stuff, not the... Not what we spent at the grocery store, of course, on the way home. But just oh wait, that bicycle thing. Too. Oh, we oh that's right, we did have a bicycle, a bicycle bar. It goes with Saris. a uh, goes with a rack, car rack mm -hmm. that you would. Uh, it's a bar that goes in between the wheels, and you can lock it. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I'm not familiar with this. I just know that bicycle rack stuff it does go high sometimes. So mm -hmm. I that. looked one up, and it's it sold for about twenty five dollars plus shipping. Yeah. So it is heavy though, but they did. I think they charge like fifteen or sixteen dollars for shipping. So, okay, with everything we've got here, what was our what was our grand total for what we spent just on the yard I think, sale? Well, I think we twenty five bucks. I think we spent for everything, maybe and, a little less. And I know you didn't just add all that up in your head as we we're going, but what what do you think is a reasonable amount I, we can uh, expect? I would not be able to <laughs> do that because they're, they're all over the board. Okay. All right. Well, I still think we did really good for the day for the amount of yard sales that were there. There wasn't a lot out there, so we had to be very selective of what we got. And the ones that were out there, uh, we went to that one community yard sale. But we went late, so. That's true. But there were so many people, you, you couldn't hardly move around. I mean, it was really, really thick on people. So, oh, one thing, I forgot my cookie cutters. Oh, right there. I got a bag of cookie cutters. Um, I have so many cookie cutters, but I, the reason I got this bag, there's some metal ones in there, but then there's also, if you can see that yellow one right there, that's a Ronald McDonald, and there's also a shamrock shaped one in there from Tupperware. The thing about the cookie cutters, the plastic ones, of course, they sell all the time. Uh, people can use them for Play-Doh or for different, for different things, not just for cookies. The metal ones, a lot of people use those to decorate with. They're really easy to uh, put some ribbon around them and hang them from your Christmas tree, and they can be very attractive that way. So they're they're used in crafts a lot. So I normally pick up cookie cutters because I can get them for a nickel to ten cents a piece, and some of my cookie sell cutters will sell for ten dollars. So if I can get one for a nickel and sell it for ten dollars, 
That's great. And they're so quick and easy to ship. Kind of like the Tasmanian toy that I mentioned in one of my other videos. It's very easy to ship. Less than four ounces. Doesn't need a lot of protection to, to go. And, um, you know, gets there really quick. So people really like those. And they're, these are very clean. Sometimes I buy cookie cutters and, you know, they've been used to death and they still have cookie dough all in them, you know, and everything. And it takes forever to get all that stuff soaked out. But these were very clean. So I paid a dollar for the whole bag. I know there's probably close to 20 in there at least. So again, uh, you know, very, very minimal price for them. So what I can sell individually, I will. Yeah, I'll either lot the other ones up or hold on to them probably closer to Christmas and sell them, uh, you know, for use in crafts and ornaments. Did you which, oh, no, thank you. You know, I forgot my seal. This this one, I really like this. This is will be one of the ones hard for me. I don't know if he's coming out in here. No markings, but it's really, really nice seal that has um, some blue and white on the back. It's black figurine. Nothing, no markings. I haven't looked up comps on him, but it's very, very well made, very nice. And um, I think... Um, I mean, I don't know, because I said, but I mean, I would, I would, right now, as he sits, I would probably say I'd ask at least $20 for him, and I paid two, but I really like him. I think he's really nice, and I just remembered something else we're missing, and um, we will try and find that, and just, oh, I know, Rob, can you go back around the other way? Over there, there's that giant glass, and I got a couple Christmas ornaments with me and Christmas. I love Christmas. So while I was out today, I found several sales that had just seasonal items. And I'm never afraid to look and buy and list items. Let me take this paper out here. So I got this and I'm going to, ah, I just about, I crashed with my seal. This is a giant uh, wine glass. Giant wine glass that says birthday girl. It is glass. And I paid a quarter for it. You cannot go wrong with a giant wine glass that says birthday girl that you paid a quarter for. So I'm excited about that one. And then these are my five, six. Thank you, Rob. My, I have six little ornaments. Pardon me while I kind of lay them out here so you can see them. Six little ornaments that I got today. One, two, three, four. Yeah. I got a... Donald Duck, which is numbered, um, haven't looked these up, so he is numbered, so he's definitely authentic Disney. I got a manatee and baby. I got a lighthouse. This lighthouse right here actually clips onto your lights to light up through it, so that's always, anything that lights up is usually more desirable. I got this uh, cat with a lipstick and perfume. Santa with a spyglass looking out of his sleigh, and then a great corn cob pipe. All those ornaments that were just a quarter a piece, I'm sure I can get at least $9.99, maybe more per ornament, depending on, um, you know, the desirability. But even at this time of the year, I won't have any problems getting rid of those types of Christmas ornaments. So, again, something that's inexpensive to buy, very easy to list. And very easy to pack. Lightweight. That's what I like. That's what I'm all about. My smalls. But remember, um, if you like our video, to click the like button. Leave us some comments. Tell us about what you found. Tell us about what you've bought. Your luck at yard sales. Do you do good at yard sales? Do you do better at thrift stores? Where do you get your, your inventory from? And let us hear from you. Rob and I, we reply to everybody that, that comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we've got a lot more to share and we're so excited for our subscribers that we've got and we look forward to all our new subscribers that come aboard. And just like I said, leave us a note, leave us a comment, let us know what you think and we will talk to you later.